Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is scorching outside. It's like overcast, but gorgeous out here. Like, this is the nicest November we've ever had. Kirby is really starting to pick up her herding instincts, I have a feeling. <laughs> anyway, something happened last night and I wanted to show you guys. So, last night when we came down to do chores, we noticed right away that little Winston had a cut on his cheek. And if you guys can see, he's super swollen on the side as well. So the cut was down here, and so he has a little bump there. We cleaned it and we gave him a antibiotic injection because with goats, anything can happen. Goats can die from a cut so fast. Are you kissing me? Goats can literally die so fast from a cut. So we had to give him his C, D and T vaccine. We gave him a booster, so he gets it every year. But I ended up giving him a booster because I don't want him to get sick. So he had two shots last night, and he's gonna get more. He's gonna get more antibiotics today. Gabby did it. She is so good at needles, you guys. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that our big guy got a cut on his face and I don't even know how he got it it looks so much better already today hopefully the next set of antibiotics will really help but he's not having any bad symptoms he seems healthy and happy he's eating but a cut can turn bad so fast with goats it can turn into something really bad where he can die so fast and it takes usually about three or four days after a cut for that bacteria to get in there so all right so that's why we gave him the CD and T vaccine. It should protect him. And if not, our vet can come and give him another drug that will really help him. So we're keeping a really close eye on him and we're making sure that he's okay, even though he had a cut and is a little bit swollen. This is what I think is so funny about this guy. He's got bangs. So see, oh, wait a minute. See Winston's face? He's just got like regular hair up there. And then this guy's got like a comb over. He looks like Donald Trump. Isn't that so funny? Like, look at his hair. I think it's cute though. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I love him. Even though he was horrible when we first got him, he's doing so much better. Stop chasing my dog. <laughs> but so far, so good, and I have high hopes for him. I've given him everything that he needs, and there are more things that we can give him just in case. Anyway, I want to start hanging up some toys for Ladybug. So I'm going to take this whole up to the house. I'm going to wash it and clean it and then I'm going to hang it up in her stall. And then I'm also going to get some other toys that I think she might like. We showed you guys how she eats the barn. <laughs> And she, I think she just gets bored. I'm sure she just gets bored. So I'm gonna try and fix up her stall so that she feels better. She has something to do. Well, hello. Hi, babies. Hi, Pose. <laughs> Posey, every time Posey gains like a, a, a little bit too much weight, I put her on a bit of a diet. I decrease her. I'm always increasing and decreasing her feed because somehow I get it too much and then it's hard to, I find it hard to moderate the pig's diet. And Posey gains weight so fast, so she's on a little bit of a decline right now. And she doesn't like it. But you know what? I feel like this goat is not letting anybody eat, and that's the problem. Do you want hay? Just a minute, I'll get you some. Most of the dogs are down here with me today. All right, let's take some hay. And I will, oh, that's heavy. Throw it over there for the girls. Last night when we came down, we came to check on Winston in the middle of the night. And when we came down, the pig was so far underneath here, you could hardly see him. All right, look, <laughs> what are you guys doing? So I try and, I used to always put hay over there for Lola because these guys were mean and wouldn't let her eat. You know what I think I might do? See, they were hungry, they wanted food. See the three of them there? That's what's driving me crazy. The three of them are over there eating. So I might take one of these feeders because this one's just stuck to the wall. I might take that feeder and put it over here because you are mean it's so gorgeous out here i'm loving it yeah like i could literally put it on this wall right here and then the girls could eat but when you have two feeding stations and you have two mean goats then that means that the two mean goats will man each 
feeding station. So you almost need three feeding stations. Yeah, it's annoying. Animals are hard. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think we should just make this, like this is such a cute little area. It used to be like a, a poop area where I used to dump the poop. And we cleaned it up this summer. We cleaned it up in the spring actually. And <laughs> what? what are you doing? <laughs> Can you guys tell who loves me best? But I mean, I put hay there, and now one mean girl's over there manning all that hay. And then one mean girl's over here manning all this hay. Oh. There you go. You can have that. Let the babies have that. It's just annoying. Here, Piggy, you can have that. Yeah, you eat that. I mean, there's tons of grass that they can, they can eat too. Now, don't you be mean. Lola! Oh my gosh. I actually really love this. Sam, I just had an idea. I tell him that because he puts the videos on the computer and kind of trims out the excess and then I edit. We need to fence this in. We need to fence this in and let it be like another shelter. That's your job for this week before it gets cold again. I love the idea of it. And Lola loves the idea of it. Okay, now look at this. So now we got one mean girl over there and the other mean girl is eating the hay right there. So if you guys want hay, you gotta go around to the other side. I'm gonna have to start throwing piles. And I didn't wanna do that because it just makes a mess. But, yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to start doing that. Don't eat my camera, Toffee. Anyway, none of our goats are struggling with their weight. All of our goats are a little over conditioned, so it's not like anybody's starving. But look at she comes up to me only when she feels safe. Yeah, I love Lola. She's one of our nicest looking goats. I love her. But I really love you, Posy Pig. Yeah, what's on your eye? Yeah, I just love a piggy nose. <laughs> Toffee, you are kind of frustrating. I actually love it in here. I could just sit here. It'd be so cozy. Sam, I'm being serious. I want you to do that. I want you to build it in. See how they did it here? They didn't do it up to the wall. They just put a board in the ground and then a board in the ground over there. And then there's a board there already. He just needs one more board here and we could build this sucker in for the winter and everything would be so much better. But I'm definitely gonna put a feeder over here. I think it will definitely help. I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna get Sam to come down and help me and we're gonna move it. But the good news is, you guys, not one of our goats came back into heat this this week. They were supposed to come back into heat two days ago, I think, and none of them came back into heat. Everybody is pregnant. Everybody that I wanted to get pregnant is pregnant. There you go, ladies. There you go. I did it. Three piles of hay and two meanies. Actually, there's four piles of hay, so the babies get some. Why you gotta be so mean, eh? So the last thing that I wanted to, that I have to do, ew, posy. <laughs> well, I just found Posey's pooping spot. Ugh, disgusting. She pooped on her pool. Ugh. What? I don't understand that at all. Ew, I almost wanna just, throw this one in the garbage because it doesn't last so this is what it looks like from the front this is the main shelter it didn't have that wall when we moved in Sam built it built it so that they can kind of protect them from the wind but wouldn't it be so cool to block this area off too it's so cute or he could just build it along here this one that already has two poles, you could build it along this side and have the opening over there. I love the idea so much. Here's the other pool. <laughs> I don't think this one works either, it has a hole. So I'm gonna toss them both. Almost forgot my ball. So awful. Remember when Elle used to chase Ruby and it was so annoying last year yeah. when she was a puppy? Well, this dog, is way worse. She's way worse because she's so much bigger, so she like, 
actually hurts Ellie. Ellie's terrified now to go outside. Hey, hey, and she goes on the coffee you table now. You tell her to get off. Well, we officially got the baby chicks transferred over to the big coop, so they're not in there anymore. Where should we put it? So, the jolly ball. Who should get it? Storm? Has Storm been in a stall the last few nights? Yeah, none of them. None of them have been in their stall? You left yeah. them out? Yeah, yeah. Oh, been. yeah, I told me you should leave them out, so. Leave them out. Yeah. When your horse says, I don't want to be in here, I guess you kind of have to listen. As long as you have a safe spot for them to stay out at night. Here. Who should get it? Well, obviously lady. Obviously lady? Why obviously lady? She's always bored. Yeah. I agree. It's gorgeous out here. Yeah. I don't like the idea of it like doubled like that. See how it's doubled? Too, too long, too short. Sam has a whole <laughs> supply. Why don't we just, you want to use this instead? Where's your knife? You want me to go get it? Um, <laughs> we finally caught something, you guys. What in the world are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Leave it to Ellie. Leave it to Ellie to get caught in the live trap. The dog barks. Anytime I open the door for them to go outside, whenever she's going to like play with the other dogs, she barks like crazy. She gets caught in a trap, doesn't make a sound. You didn't even alert us that your friend was caught. There she is. <laughs> Safe and sound. Hey, I've been training this dog all week. Hey, not to chase Ellie, not to like jump on her because she's too little for her. Hey, see, she knows. She's like, I really want to chase your dog. Don't double it because I don't like the choking. Like if you double that, then there's a chance she could get her neck in there. Horses, remember, horses like to hurt themselves. Well, hello, ladybug. How are you feeling today? Hey. So I posted a video, a short video on our channel of Sophie's trail ride. She came back and she said that there was a dog down the road, chased them. She said that Lady didn't notice the dog, that Sophie noticed the dog first and then told Lady to, to canter and then Lady ended up galloping. <laughs> the trainers and I are trying to teach Sophie not to gallop Lady because we're trying to help her relax and calm down. But Sophie is like, you know, she's been nervous of galloping her whole life. And now she has a horse that she just loves and it's so fun to canter on and gallop on. But I did notice like some people, a lot of the comments were really interesting. People were saying like, if I have a crop, I'll hit the dog. And that if the dog is chasing you, like it, you have to choose you and your horse and your safety over the dog. So if you have to smack the dog with a crop, then do that so if he doesn't carry a crop with Lady. Yeah, my dad used to carry a, a stick attached to his bike in Toronto. So when dogs chase him, he can pull the stick out. Yeah, and people are like, like you know. Chase people on bikes. Yeah, yeah, it's just instinct. It's the owner's responsibility to keep the dog tied up. But it's just like our dogs. We know, like, we're always outside with them when they're outside, and we're always watching them. So if they start to run towards the road, we call them back, and they come back. But if they actually ran at somebody, I doubt that they would hurt them. I'm sure that they would scare them more than hurt them, but still, it would be our responsibility. And my sister would be coming to my house saying, Hey, Laura. <laughs> can't let your dog run free here's the fine because nobody's exempt uh, as for sure but Sophie didn't get hurt and I'm sure that those people didn't even have any idea it's a quiet road I'm sure they had no idea Sophie would be out there all right there we go lady yeah I think that's good ladybug's got a toy one to start hey oops I can tell when I can tell when Ellie's getting like when it's too much. I protected Ruby, now I'm protecting you. All right, there we go. Comment below what kind of toys you have in your horse's stall. Don't you know